What is going on everyone? Sorry about the shaky camera. Um, a lot of you guys were talking about my audio and I have to agree with you guys. The audio in, my, in the videos in the past were like, it's like straight garbage, trash audio. So this thing here, uh, it's gonna have to do for now. I think it makes it sound a little better, but it's annoying to have this thing and it's got, it's you know wired and everything. So um, uh, as long as it sounds better, I think that's all that matters. But today what we're gonna do is we have the box turtle pen here. As you can see, it's a little overgrown. Just a little bit. I see Mr. P right there. I don't know if you can tell. He's uh, right in this area here. Um, it is a little overgrown, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in, collect all the turtles out, and then we're going to weed whack, get the weed whacker, and chop all this down. We're gonna leave some of it, of course, but chop most of it down, and then we're gonna feed them all and just do a count and see how they're all doing. So we're gonna get started with that, and I think maybe today, it is garage sale season, so I think maybe today I'll be picking up a 55 gallon tank for $12.50. That's not a bad deal. So let's go ahead and get started on this. All right, so we're gonna head on in now. And I uh, just wanna say, it is overgrown. It doesn't affect the quality of life these turtles have. So, you know, in fact, they might actually like it overgrown better. But um, it just looks a lot nicer without it all overgrown. It's a lot easier to find them, and it's a lot easier to do maintenance in here. So right here we got Fro See right there? One of my favorites. Not tiny on it. We have Mr. P right there. And then over here we have Tiki chilling, looking over his pond. And of course we're gonna have to go and find all the other turtles and that'll be something that we do. So Obviously, before I can bust out the weed whacker, we've got to get all of the turtles out. So, we're going to go ahead and collect as many as we possibly can. Okay, so I'll have my bucket here. What we're going to do is we're going to find a few turtles, like good old Mr. P right here. We're going to find the turtles, collect them, put them in the bucket, which I'm not going to set on this log over time. And then we're going to go over and put them in sauces enclosure just temporarily to get them out and I see Elda right here Elda here she is Looking great and then while I do this I always thoroughly look over all the turtles make sure they're all doing okay and oh we have Tiki and Turbo over here fighting probably Tiki the big man of the group and I'm gonna wait to put get Turbo just because he's uh, a little bit of a bully. And we're gonna get Frostbite right here. So there's some four turtles in the bucket. And we're gonna go over, put them in sauces enclosure. Look who decided to come out today. But the moment he sees me, he's gonna go in his shell. Yep, there he is. So, I'm just gonna take the turtles back. All right, let's find some more. All right, so I just found Turbo, and he's all boxed up right now, which means that him and Tiki are fighting. As you can see, he's a little, a little skittish. So, uh. I'd say he probably lost that battle. It is an ongoing thing with the two of them for some reason. No other males in here fight with each other except for Tiki and Turbo. And I saw another turtle probably underneath here. Oh, I hear, who is this? All right, here we have Brooke, one of the larger females, going in the bucket. I think there might be another one in here. Oh, there is. Here we have Cleo. She's pretty shy. She's generally the shyest out of the females. All right. Anyone else under here? I know Bear likes to hide out. I don't feel anyone. So we're just gonna kind of go through and see who all we can find. In here. anyone. I always have to be very careful where I step. 
So uh, I'll be back when I find some more. All right, so here's Penny. Found her. She's the biggest female out of the group. Absolutely gorgeous. And what's so interesting is her babies, they have the same, like, head. The same eyes, same head shape. I can very distinctly tell which baby is whose because her babies have her head, which is really cool. So that's four turtles in this bucket, which means that there's two left, bear and BB-8. So we're gonna go put these guys in the enclosure with salsa and the other box turtles. And we will be looking for bear and BB-8. All right, we're back. We grab our Here's Penny. There she goes. Here's Brooke. She goes. And Turbo, Tiki is all the way over there. You can barely see him. There he is. So I can put Turbo here without worrying him getting bullied. And Cleo. Now we just got to find Bear and BB 8. We should be good. I literally just opened the gate. I'm still standing on the outside of the pen. And look who came running out. He must have seen all the commotion. So, uh, pretty easy for us to find Bear. Now, of course, it's always BB-8 that I find last because she's the smallest. Bear looking sharp. Look at those colors. Absolutely love this turtle. So we're going to put him in the bucket just until we can find BB-8. So put her in the bucket, and then we can start weed whacking in here. Make it all, make it looking a lot better. All right, finally found her. Here she is. Looking great. There's her scar. I've had no problems with that so far. I don't think I will. All right, those two are in the bucket. Now we're gonna go put them with salsa, start weed whacking all these weeds down. All right, here's a bear. And BB-8. There they go. There's everyone. There's salsa. All right, guys, so here's what it looks like now. I'm gonna move it a little slower. So as you can see, it looks much better, much more tidy, much cleaner, as you can see. All right, so what I did with the pond is you notice at the beginning of the video, it was pretty much completely drained. I do that because when I weed whack in here, all the grass goes in there, and then it sits there, and then I use my hand and I take out as much as I can and then I get the hose and I put it at the top of this little stream here and it goes through all the way into the pond and then it overflows out here and that just pushes all of the grass and all the debris and everything out so we're left with a nice clean pond so I'll be taking that hose out here real quick but uh yeah there's not as many hiding spots because the grass is gone but give it a week and it'll need weed whacked again but there's still this hide, there's still this tube, this plant that they go in, this here, doghouse, the, around the doghouse, which is now the turtle house, and then this huge pile of grass right here, which they, this is like their favorite thing after I weed whack. They love bearing in all this grass, and yeah, they, they just love bearing in it. So now we're going to get the turtles, we're going to release them in here, and uh, just see how they're doing. So it will be much easier to find all of them, but it's still gonna be a little challenging. Here's Salsa, he kinda got intimidated by the 
army of box turtles. So here we go, we got Mr. P again. One of the first ones that we found originally. Looking sharp, here he goes. Into the bucket. We're just gonna walk around, see who we find. I know there's gotta be one turtle at least over here. Ah, uh, here we go. This is why you gotta watch where you step. There's a bear. And then, is there another one here? I don't feel it. We're gonna see if we can go two for two here. Ah, uh, here we go. Frostbite. He will stay in his shell, so I can use one hand. Here they are. Putting them in the bucket. I'm just gonna go through and collect all of them, obviously. Oh man, look at the size of this box turtle. Holy cow, that's a big box turtle. I'm just kidding, that's a red foot tortoise. All right, there's Penny. There she is. BB-8. And now that there are turtles in here, gotta close the gate. Looks a lot better over here too. All right, here we have Brook. And this is why box turtles are extremely hard to find in the wild. Looks like a regular patch of grass. But look underneath. There you go. Here we have Cleo. Just found Elda. We got one more to find, and he's gotta be in this area, so I'm just gonna set her down there. Just kinda pat in the grass. And when I find or come across like a lump, you know you've hit a turtle. So Turbo's doing a real good job. Oh, here he is. Wasn't buried in the grass at all, just walking around. I just didn't see him. There's Turbo. Now, tricky part is, having Turbo and Tiki in the same bucket, even though it'll be for like five seconds, we're just gonna try it. All right, now we gotta get over the pen quickly. Okay, here we are. I'm gonna set him up here. Negate. And release him. Tiki. Sorry about that, buddy. Turbo. Rook. Elda. And Cleo. All right. So that's all the box turtles in the pen. Let's send for my log here. There's those five bears uh, trotting around over there. There's a penny. And then somewhere around here are the other ones. There's BB-8. You can barely see her. There she is. But that's pretty much how I cleaned the pond and I took the hose out to close the gate. So that's how it looks. Oh look, there's Brooke already in the pond. Getting a nice drink of cool water. Swimming around a little bit. There's everyone else. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, your view means a lot to me and all these turtles over here They're all thriving because of you guys you guys help keep the channel running you guys help these guys fed so uh, 
if you don't mind, keep watching the videos because that helps a lot. And there's the pond. It's, does it look like anyone's in there right now? But uh, thank you guys so much again. I hope you had a great time watching this video. hope you enjoyed the video. Um, make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. If you're new to the channel, make sure to look through my other videos because I'm sure you'll find something that interests you. If you like turtles, you'll like this channel. So thanks again for watching. hope you have a great day. And I'll see you next time. Totally forgot to put this in the video, but here's that 55-gallon tank I was telling you about. Duke, what are you doing? Got it at a garage sale for 12 bucks, and uh, definitely going to be using it. I've never had a 55-gallon before, which may surprise some of you, but I do like it because it's, uh, it's a medium-sized tank, but the width of a 20-gallon. So uh, that's where we will be putting some turtles. I know just where I'm going to put it to. 55 gallon tank. Say bye, Duke. Bye. Bye.